Hello everyone, Alien Theory here. I hope you're having a good start to the new year. 2023 should be pretty eventful in the world of Alien. The new movie begins filming next month. Information on the film's title and filming dates comes from ProductionList.com, a film and television production tracking service offered by the Film and Television Industry Alliance. This office works with major film and TV studios tracking pre-production announcements of roughly 20 to 40 new projects weekly. It's a trusted source, and in lieu of any official announcements directly from the studio, this is a good place to get information on upcoming productions. Any of the articles you may have read lately about the reveal of the title track this listing as the source. The new film is titled Alien Romulus. This may be a working title, tentatively listed, or it could very well be the official name of the final film. It's still fairly early to say for sure. You might recall that Prey, the last entry in the Predator series, was once known as Skulls. But at least we know at this point in time it's at least a very possible title. Romulus, we can gather, is derived from the Roman myth of Romulus and Remus. The story tells of the events that led to the founding of the city of Rome and the Roman kingdom by Romulus, following his fratricide of his twin brother, Remus. If I were a betting man, I'd say within the context of the film, it refers to a spaceship, given the previous titles Prometheus and Covenant. I'd also wager a pretty safe bet in assuming the title is really Scott's idea, since he's producing the film. I'll be honest, I'm not 100% crazy about the title. When I hear Romulus, I immediately think Romulan, and I think of Star Trek, not Alien. And if it is indeed the name of the ship in the movie, then I'm not sure why this tradition of the film title and the ship name is holding three movies strong so far. If this is meant to be more of a standalone movie and not meant to have relation to Prometheus and Covenant, then I think it would be best to break the tradition and go with a title that also stands alone. But that's just me. If it does end up being the official title, then I'm sure I'll get used to it, and until there's a declaration of a different title, I'll be referring to it as Alien Romulus. So, what do we know about Alien Romulus so far? We know Ridley Scott is producing, and the director is Fede Alvarez. Alvarez is the writer of the film, along with Rodo Sayagues, who collaborated with Alvarez on his previous films Evil Dead and Don't Breathe. The film will not be a theatrical release, but rather, much like with Prey, will be a direct-to-Hulu streaming release. The marriage between Disney, 20th Century Studios, and Hulu has resulted in such decisions, but it did actually seem to work out for Prey. It currently holds the record for the number one premiere on the platform in the United States, and the most watched premiere on Disney Plus Star, where it streamed elsewhere in the world, including here in Canada, where I live. So it was a bold move that paid off. Perhaps it could pay off for the next Alien film as well. 20th Century Studios president Steve Asbell has defended this decision, stating, It's not a film that has to be all things to all people with those gargantuan budgets. They get to be authentically what they are, and this is closer to its genre roots. Personally, I'd like to at least have the option to see the next Alien movie in theaters. Prey would have been incredible to see on the big screen with an audience. Streaming can be an incredibly convenient option, but it doesn't top the theatrical experience. Maybe this criticism and demand that resulted from Prey's release could inspire at the very least a limited theatrical run for Romulus, but I won't hold my breath. We know, according to The Hollywood Reporter, actress Kaylee Spaney is likely to be starring in a lead role. She's currently the only mentioned cast member on ProductionList.com. There has been a rumor circulating of another cast member, though. An industry insider by the name of Daniel Richtman announced on a blog post that actress Phoebe Waller-Bridge, star of the TV series Fleabag and the upcoming Indiana Jones film, is in talks for a role. According to Richtman, whose past scoops have also proven reliable, the role is meant to be an android named Rook. This is still just a rumor, she's still not listed in the cast, but it could be interesting. I think she's a talented actress, and if she has a more sinister edge, as the rumor suggests, I think she'd do well in such a role. As far as the plot goes, there's very little we know so far. The only definitive thing we can confirm is that it's supposed to be a standalone film, not related to the other movies. As the story goes, Alvarez casually pitched a story to Scott many years ago. The idea stayed with Scott for all this time, and in 2021 he called up Alvarez asking if he'd like to move forward with the project, and he agreed. So it must be a pretty strong pitch. According to The Hollywood Reporter's original announcement of the film back in March of last year, 
20th Century picked up the project purely off the strength of Fede's pitch, said Division President Steve Asbell. It was just a really good story with a bunch of characters you haven't seen before. I'm inclined to be optimistic about this. Not cautiously optimistic, just optimistic. I think the studio has built up a lot of goodwill with Prey and proved they can do some effective franchise regeneration. Prey was successful and it's definitely had some staying power. I've seen it appear on many favorite movies of 2022 lists at the end of the year and I'd agree that it was one of the year's highlights in film. I know it wasn't everyone's cup of tea, but for whatever it may be worth to you, it was, objectively, a well-received film in general. And for whatever it may be worth to you, it certainly has the Alien Theory seal of approval. But while I really enjoy the Predator series, and always try to include Predator and Alien vs. Predator related topics on this channel whenever I can, it's the Alien franchise I have the most investment in. I feel very protective of this series, as I'm sure many other fans do. I want the new Alien movie to be great, to rival the first two, and I'm still not jaded enough to believe that's impossible. Call me naive if you want. What I've really been craving for all these years is something scary. The first two movies were really scary with edge of your seat suspense. I really like Scott's prequels and especially like the high level of intensity and macabre they brought with some truly gruesome moments, but they weren't backed up by the appropriate amount of tension. I thought that aspect was missing, unfortunately. In meditating on Fede Alvarez's work, I keep thinking more and more he may be the perfect choice. He achieved the gruesome with his version of Evil Dead, that's for sure, but also composed a very suspenseful thriller with Don't Breathe. If he combines those aspects of his previous work, along with whatever story idea he presented that apparently wowed Ridley Scott, then we could have a real winner here. Only time will tell, but time moves fast, and so do movies. Sometimes it feels as if one day you're reading a vague article about an upcoming film and the next day there's a trailer and the next you're watching it in your living room. So I'll be keeping up with the news as best as I can. I hope you'll follow along with me. I hope I can infect you with some of my enthusiasm and I hope 2023 is a great year for Alien. I'll see you next time. I have more videos in the works and also look forward to another year of exploring this franchise on YouTube. Until next time, this is Alien Theory, signing off.